Hey everyone, Colgate here, and this is a video that I wanted to make for a couple days, ever since I saw the Fire Emblem Direct. Now, the reason why I haven't made it yet is because I really got distracted. Today I got distracted um, by Genesis. Ooh, that's bad. For, uh, today I got distracted by Genesis uh, because it's looking really cool. And by the way, uh, in Melee, a, a Panama player actually got uh, first in his pool. So that's really cool. He's like the best Melee player in Panama. He beat like one of the ran one of the PR players of New York. Uh, but anyways, that's good enough topic. So about Fire Emblem. I'm so excited for what the future holds for Fire Emblem. This series is about to be cancelled like so little time, like what, 10 years ago or something? Less than that? I don't know, but it, it just seems like, wow, we've come a long way. And I know it's partially because of Waifu Emblem, um, so that, you know, the series got popular and stuff. And while I'm not the biggest fan of the Waifu Emblem, I can accept that it did save the franchise, so I, I don't hate it. Uh, and plus, Fates is fine and Awakening was great. But anyway, so let, let me share my thoughts on each of the games, because a couple of these may surprise you. First off, we were given a, uh, what was it? A remake, or a uh, reimagining or, or some sort, sort of like based on or inspired by uh, the second game. We're getting a 3DS game based on the second Fire Emblem game, which was uh, Fire Emblem Echoes. No, 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 no. Echo Echoes is the version that's coming out now. I'm not quite sure what it was called before. Is it Gaiden? It might be Gaiden. Yeah, it's Gaiden. Um, and I'm excited because I like playing older Fire Emblem games so I get to know them. And stuff. Because I really don't know other Fire Emblem games like besides the one I've played. The ones I've played are uh, Fire Emblem 7, which is Lin's. Fire Emblem 8, which is Sacred Stones. Fire em and I skipped Fire Emblem 9. And then I went to Fire Emblem 10 which is Radiant Dawn, and I never played the one on the GameCube, but I did play Radiant Dawn. Uh, and then after that, what did I do? After Radiant Dawn, I played uh, Shadow Dragon, and I skipped 12, which is 11, and I skipped 12, which was a continuation of Shadow Dragon, I'm not quite sure, but it was the first game to introduce uh, my unit. But I skipped 12, and then I played Shadow Dragon. And I played, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I played Awakening and Fates. Which is interesting because that means I, sk I played two games and I skipped two. Um, not intentionally, but it just sort of happened that way. Mostly because the, uh, what was it? Mostly because Roy, well, first off, Roy's game was also a game I didn't play, even though I want to. But that it wasn't localized, neither was 12. Uh, Radiant Dawn, it didn't really. I don't know what happened with that, or why I didn't get... I didn't know there was a Fire Emblem game for the GameCube, I think. So that's why I never got it. But I do want to play it eventually. Um, that's about it. <laughs> I do plan to play them all eventually. But, uh... Okay, so that game looks really cool. Uh, you know, the Echoes looks really cool. I am interested to see how deep the dungeon exploring mechanic will be. If only because I don't think I've ever imagined, you know, Fire Emblem as having a dungeon mechanic, or, you know, how it could have a dungeon mechanic. And the exploring and towns and stuff, so that could be really cool. It could be like a Zelda 2, but for Fire Emblem. Which is ironic, it's also or it's, uh, cool, because it's also the second game. But, uh, let's see, what else? That's about it. I, I want to find out more about the characters. Uh, Elm and Celica. I really want to find out about Celica because she's a cutie. And yeah, it looks great. I want to see the animated cutscenes. Not much to say there. I wasn't expecting it by any means. Oh, before I before I go on, I should say that before the presentation started, this is literally what I expected. I expected us to get a Fire Emblem, you know, more information about Fire Emblem Warriors, you know, probably with some new footage. I expected the, you know, more information about the Fire Emblem mobile game. And I expected, or I at least I hoped for, a game of Fire Emblem, you know, just a, a full-on game, but for the Switch. 
And we got all of that. And we got more. I was not expecting like a remake like they do Shadow Dragon. Mostly because Shadow Dragon wasn't actually that successful at all. Like, at all. But uh, I guess they wanted to put faith into it again. Um, and, you know, I don't blame them. It's actually really cool to introduce the fans to the older games. Hopefully they, they keep it faithful to the original and don't waifu-fy it too much. Too much. I mean, I don't mind if you can marry and have, uh, you know, Outer Realm kids or whatever. Just, you know. Actually, that would be weird because they, they wouldn't be characters in the original, would they? I'm not even sure if they had support conversations back then, so I don't know. Uh, so anyways, let's see. Now, that, that's basically it. We don't get, like, a lot of information, except that it's, you know, a remake. So if you're a fan of that game, uh, you know, the original, good, good on you. You get to play it in HD now. Uh, I never played it, so I can't judge. I suicided. <laughs> uh, so next, they went on to announce the Fire Emblem for the, the Switch, which I was really happy about because, you know, I reserved my Switch already, and it's going to be coming out in 2018. Oh boy. I don't I wouldn't mind if it's like a uh, style similar to Fates, but I would like to see a style that's a little bit similar to what we saw in the uh, Ike games, which is Tellius, I want to say. I, I again, I, I played Radiant Dawn, didn't play Path of Radiance, but they but the GBA games were really like my forte. Except, you know, Six, because that, that didn't get localized, so I have an excuse. But anyways, so that's really exciting. They told us literally nothing except what guys were making this game. And I was like, I hype. And then I was like, okay, so what else you got? And then they gave us more information on Warriors, and by that I mean five extra seconds of screen of uh, footage, which was, I guess, nice. <laughs> but I'm, I'm hyped for that game, because I, I like Hyrule Warriors. I just don't have too much time to play it, but uh, that'll be fun to play, um, especially with Fire Emblem characters. I do hope they have characters that I like there, um, and not. I don't. I hope they don't just have the Lords. I hope they don't just have Awakening and Fates characters. I hope they have characters at least from like four or five or six different games. Um, you know, the GBA games, the Tellius series. Uh, the 3DS games is fine, you know, Awakening and, you know, the Waifu Emblems, that's cool. We already saw Chrome, so we know Awakening is confirmed. Um, that's, that's gonna be really awesome. And then, the other half of the presentation was the mobile game. I am gonna go bankrupt with that game. I'm gonna go bankrupt with that game. Like... You don't understand, right? That game looks so damn nice. You get to collect all of your... You get to basically have, like, mini fights, like, mini maps with... You get to clear them with, like, your dream team of Fire Emblem. It's amazing. And, like, sure, you have to pay, but at the same time, you could just, like, play the game. Hopefully, they're, they don't run out. Like, you could just always play, like... Maybe, I don't know if, if they if randomized maps would be a good idea. They probably wouldn't. But, like, a training mode or a practice mode or whatever, or some sort of, like, arena where you can continuously play so you don't run out of gameplay. That would be cool. Um, oh, man, I'm so hyped for that. Because it's like, you're like, like, these are the characters that I really want, right? I want Joshua. I, I want Joshua, for sure, for sure. Eric and Sarah would be cool. Lynn, I think she's already going to be in, uh, but I'm really hyped for her as well. I would like to see Mia from uh, the Tellius games, but I don't think she'll be there. For, you know, reasons that she's not, like, super popular. Same for Marissa. Uh, Donnie has to be there. Like, if I don't see Donnie, I'm, I'm rioting. But I, we all know it's going to be, like, a lot of waifus. So that's fine by me. I just want them to be, like, the cool, you know, some really cool characters. Like, characters, not just, and I know, and I know they're, like, bringing a lot of old characters, because we saw a lot of old characters, 
but I really want them to like bring a lot of old, not just like a couple, like a lot of old characters. Like, give me, give me Seth even, even though you probably won't. Give me, give me Erica. Erica and Ephraim would be so cool to have. That's just me though. So aside from that, um, and like I said, it did spend like 10 minutes on that, um, but I thought it was cool, and I didn't regret watching it. To be honest, I would give it an A for plus for presentation. The plus comes from the fact that it was voiced by Yuri Lowenthal, and I love Yuri Lowenthal because um, when I was like 13 or 14, Sasuke was like the best Naruto character by far until Rock Lee, you know, did his thing. And even after that... I was a Sasuke fanboy. What can I say? I guess I liked the duck hair. <laughs> I liked the edgy. And then I realized when I got a little bit older, wait, edgy's not cool. Um, that's about it. Honestly, if you haven't watched the presentation, go watch it. It's amazing. If you have watched it, watch it again. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait. And you know what's the best part? The mobile game's coming out like... In 12 days! Like, that's awesome! I mean, the other games are gonna take a little while, but... And, I, uh, I know that the Fire Emblem remake for, you know, the second game, Gaiden, is coming out on May the 13th, I wanna say. It's very early May. It's early May. The other one, you know, the, the Switch one is gonna be 2018. Warriors... Uh, summer 2017 or fall? Uh, they I, I, they didn't specify a date, but I I hope it's around there. <laughs> but anyways, now maybe that's just me. I know a lot of people were not as hyped for it as they could have been. Some people were kind of disappointed. Some people don't really care about the mobile game, or some people just cared about one or two games in it. That's fine. I'm hyped for all of them, and I'm getting all of them, so rip wallet. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and have a good one.